welcome to my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the modern era. Your starting lineup. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. Does anyone know the Wi-Fi password? I'll share it with you, Griffin. And I'm the sweet baby brother and 30 under 30 media luminary, Griffin McElroy. Hey, thanks. While they're doing that, this is perfect. Hi, this is an advice show. And Boston, one of our favorite towns, like the Chilean miners before us, we have reemerged from the ground to be with you here. What a, what a thrill it is to be, to be back here. Only uh, now do I think about the fact that we didn't talk about what our intro was going to be. No, oh, I think yeah. we know what the intro oh, is, is going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so here's the deal. I had a rough time getting here to your beautiful town through no fault of yours, I assure you, unless well, you work at the airport, in which case, better luck next time. Or if time. you control the weather. If you're yeah. a storm from the X-Men. So anyway, my flight got canceled. I ended up being rerouted instead of going to Cincinnati to Boston. I got rerouted Cincinnati to Norfolk, Virginia, which actually made me further from Boston than when I started <laughs> at my house eight hours before. So... Uh, I take the, uh, I, I drive, I get a car, I drive up Show to Washington, D.C. Show me how you drive. Show then, me one more time driving. Just drive along. Yeah, that's what Please it looks like Please don't when drive I do like it. that. Yeah, oh, sure. God, no. Uh, I, um, you and Muttley out there with the other wacky racers. I got up to Washington and then D.C. and then took the beautiful uh, Acela train oh. all the way. Oh. Beautiful oh. steel beast. Anyone oh. who's listened to enough, my brother, specifically live shows, knows no, how re rejuvenating a train ride can be. So me. I'm having an amazing seven-hour train ride up to Boston. Loving it. Love it. Don't laugh. It's amazing. My kids aren't there. I can't be clear enough about that. I'm having the time of my life. I'm catching Shut up on Barry. I'm 10 steps from the soda and popcorn. I'm living... My best life. And Anyone who was here, I also have to say last night, dad was not able to make it to the Taz show because of similar travel things. And in the middle of a thread of probably 200 texts as we're trying to figure this out, Justin texts, I'm worried. And Paul, our stage manager slash tour manager says, oh my God, what? And Justin says, I'm worried they'll make me get off the train when I get to Boston. Um... Don't take that as a slight. No <laughs> city can measure up to a train. So I'm on the train. I'm about five hours in. I did try, decided to treat myself to perhaps my eighth bathroom break. I'm right. <laughs> it's for the DVTs. It's important to stay mobile. I go into the bathroom, and I shut the door, and a gentleman never tells. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, and, then, and then I, I, as one does, I go to leave the bathroom. And the door does not open. And I try and I try and I really pull. And then the claustrophobia starts really setting in really bad because I'm trapped in a bathroom on the train. Um, and I'm pulling on the thing and then I notice there's a button to call attendant. So I well, go, problem solved. Yeah, problem can solved, ask, right? Can I ask how long you tried to get out of there yourself before you pressed the button specifically for getting trapped in the bathroom? 45 seconds. I mean, oh, tops. Wow. 45 yeah. seconds. Okay. Actually, so, longer than I would have thought. The panic was kicking in at this point because yeah. I was in an enclosed space. The dilation of time. Yeah, so Einstein I'm, talked about it when you're I'm, trapped in I'm a train bathroom. I'm leaning on the button. I'm pressing the button. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. No one's coming. I don't know if the button is creating a sustained noise or it's like I push it, it's on... Just chill. Did you no, try a few different patterns? Just no one for comes for about five minutes. And I'm still in the bathroom. And I'm starting to lose it pretty bad at this point, I'll be honest. And I start pounding on the doors. Help, help, help. And I'm pounding, I'm pounding, I'm pounding. I'm finally, like in all my moving and jerking, I find that what has happened is the train has come off the track. No, not, no, the, not train. the train. Sorry. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. That was a pretty bad slip of the tongue. My apologies. What a why? And so here's the thing. There's fire everywhere. No, no, no. This, so this doesn't happen. This was fine. The door, you know, the, the sliding door to the bathroom has come off the track. So I think, okay, well. That's a different. The stakes of that sentence are so profoundly different. 
Because even if you arrive to the station trapped in a bathroom, you still got to the, the station. The, the distance between I was trapped with my own embarrassing doo-doo smell versus a hundred souls. So, the door had come off the track. Through an impressive amount of Herculean effort, I lift the, the door up and get it back in its track. It pops right open. Great. Now, I also have not thought about this the first time you told me the story, but also you must have closed it too hard, right? No, I closed it perfectly. Yeah, what'd you do? Everyone knows that I closed bathroom doors You must have been so excited to do it. (laughs) Okay, so I opened the door, and I very coolly (laughs) walk back to my seat. Now, I walk past someone who looks at me when I come out, and it occurs to me, this must be very confusing for them. Because they're seated right next to the bathroom door. So, in their experience, a husky boy walks into the bathroom. They hear a lot of pounding and screaming for help. And then same husky boy walks out of the bathroom, not a care in the world. Now, hold on. Well, okay. The, that, so, I was very concerned about what that person thought until I realized, this motherfucker. There it is. Listen to my cries of, of agony and terror and did nothing. So their, their experience was, help me, help me. I'm like, oh, man, I hope somebody helps I that hope guy. hope somebody helps or that Or alternatively, guy. help me, help me. What did they do to deserve this? The poor Can I guy. ask what you all would do in that seat, though? Because I imagine my thought process would be, this would probably be a pretty uncomfortable social engagement for myself. So I'm going to hope that someone else comes or the husky boy dies inside the bathroom. Because here would be my fear. I would engage and then realize there was nothing I could do to help and then have to hit that point of, well, I'm going to go back to my seat. One of my, no, 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 no. One of my favorite ways to help strangers is when the job is to get an adult. That's fantastic. I can get an adult every time. You look for someone in like a hat yeah. With something on it, usually. A and then clipboard, preferably. A clipboard, a name tag, and then that adult takes over. Get, get, go grab, pull on the collar of CGI Tom Hanks and get him to... Um, so that was my harrowing journey here to Boston, but I'm so happy to be here with you now. This is an advice show. Here's advice. Here's advice number one. If someone needs train-based bathroom help, be the change you want to see yeah, in the world. Thank you. Listen, there are so many problems every day we can't do anything about. But one husky boy trapped in a bathroom, you can be I the can Superman. I can say I'm a husky boy. Don't take liberties. I just did it for shorthand, Justin. Uh, this is an advice show. <laughs> Still. And uh, we're going to help people. Uh, you all we send won't. Us some, you all send us some questions. And uh, I'm going to read the first of those questions now, and then we will turn that question alchemy-like into wisdom. Here we go. 